is a TV. Today we are going to discuss about e visa when you want to enter the St. Petersburg and Leningrad Oblast, uh, Russia. Do you know that there are three regions in Russian Federations that we can visit using an issued e visa that can be applied online? The three regions are number one, Park Eastern Federal District, number two, uh, Kaliningrad Oblast, and number three, the St. Petersburg and Leningrad Oblast. And now we are going to talk about the e visa requirements. Let's start the ball rolling. Number one requirements for getting an e visa to St. St. Petersburg, Russia is online application form this is very simple and easy Sadiq you just uh, visit and go to the official website of consular department of the ministry of foreign affairs of russian federations this is uh, very fast and easy you can finish answering the questionnaires i think for uh, almost uh, five minutes more than five minutes and uh, i will write down below the link so that you can find it easy and you can do the online application very fast and quick Number two requirement is your personal passport, national passport. Um, passport must contain at least a six valid months, six valid months before your travel. This is actually a requirement for all your travel wherever you want to go. And number three requirement is personal email because uh, the federations, the Russian Federation, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Russian Federation will send you two messages. One is when they receive your application, the formation when they receive your application. And number two, the decision whether the application is issued or denied, accept or denied. And the last but not least requirement is your photo ID. And I think this is the visa photo. Uh, this is very easy. You just go to photo center like Kodak Express. They know the requirements uh, for every country every visa application so this i think will not hinder you that, uh, that will not cause you to get denied because of the photo there is a photo requirements uh, i think you can you can uh, read and find on the official website of the russian federation ministry of foreign affairs now you know the four basic requirements when you are applying for e-visa going to st petersburg russia now let's talk about the characteristic of e-visa the e-visa is free uh, you will not spend this any amount of money given a single sense you will not experience this is free no cost no value just apply online and you will get the uh, e-visa when you are approved number two an e-visa is issued only to visit the three region i mentioned on the first uh, on the beginning of this video so you cannot choose to go to moscow you just uh, allow to go to if you would choose uh, St. Petersburg, Russia and Leningrad Oblast, like for example. Number four, when you are applying for Ibiza, you don't need the hotel booking, hotel reservation, uh, booking confirmations, invitation or something or a proof of uh, what do you call this proof of finance. Number four, when you are entering uh, using an e-visa, entering and leaving using an e-visa uh, for the Russian Federation checkpoint, you can use this only to Polkovo airports if you are on the air checkpoints. And then you need to exit and leave using also the Polkovo airports. Number five, e-visa is issued for 30 calendar days. It means you have 30 days uh, to go and enjoy the St. Petersburg and Leningrad Oblast, but you can stay only up to 8 days. Like for example, when you entered Monday, you must exit on the next Monday. Yeah? Don't forget that an e-visa is a single entry, not a multiple entry. You cannot use uh, when you went uh, to St. Petersburg. Yeah. The day of entry and the day of exit in Russian Federation is up to 8 days under the e-visa not imply that one can stay for the entire 192 hours. 
the, the reason for applying for e-visa uh, can be of the following categories. Number one, business. And number two, for tourism. Usually, when uh, somebody is going there, they are using uh, tourism purposes when you are applying for e-visa. You can also use this e-visa when you can also uh, use <coughs> as human, humanitarian no, no, no. reason when you are applying for e-visa. I think that is the important characteristic of e-visa when you are applying, so somebody must know. And there are other things, the characteristic of e-visa, just read on the official websites of the uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Russian Federation. Uh, the procedure for application of e-visa online, you just visit the official website of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Russian Federation. Listed there, you can read there all the procedures, uh, all some tips regarding the when you have problem of names, birthdays, and others. So you have to click only the three boxes there. Then you have to next uh, step. You will do is uh, fill fill out or fill in the, the required questionnaires online and submitting all your photos and a copy of your passport. Then you will have after that you will finish. Uh, applying for the e-visa going to St. Petersburg. After uh, finished uh, answering all the questionnaires on online application and then uh, you will wait for some days, you will receive two messages from the Consular Department of the uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Russian Federation. Uh, number one, it is the confirmation that they receive your application and uh, number two, this is not uh, Immediately, it maybe takes two to three or four days. Right? You will receive the decision of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs whether your applied e visa is accepted or denied. Good luck! Uh, I would like to add after you have the approved e visa from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Russian Federation, uh, you need to bring the following documents. Number one, airline tickets uh, back and forth, which is the uh, return tickets. Number two, e-visa. Number three, uh, passport. Number four, hotel booking. Because when I was there in immigration, they look at the hotel booking, passport, and e-visa. And uh, number five, you need also to bring uh, an insurance. Insurance certificate, I think. I am usually taking uh, from AXA, which is available uh, through website uh, online. You just apply it online and they will give you the the insurance certificate for the whole travel, full period of your travel to St. Petersburg, Russia. And with that, I would like to say good luck, whoever who will go to St. Petersburg, I am sure and I recommend it that you will not fail. You will uh, see the most beautiful city of the world. Shukran Sadiq!